How's it going guys? In today's video we're going to be looking at how we can create a partial sheet, also known as a half sheet, in SwiftUI. And it's going to look like this. So usually when you show a sheet it covers about 95% of the entire view. But in this example you can see that we only made it cover about 4 tenths. And I also added some functionality in here so you can see that you can actually add stuff to it like a normal sheet. And that's actually all we will be making. And you can customize that to be 90%, 80%, 20%, whatever you like. But uh, let's go ahead and get started immediately with a new empty project. And the first thing we have to do is go and add a package. So click on add packages. And here you can go ahead and type in half a sheet. And if you can't find it, you're going to have to go to the GitHub repository and copy this link over here and just paste it in the search bar. I will leave that in the description down below, so do not worry, you can just copy and paste that, and then go ahead and add the package. And it's going to be inside your project. Then we can go to our content view and get started with the actual code. Now, the first thing we have to do is import half a sheet so that we can actually use it. And we want two different state variables for this example. So private var is showing, which is going to be bound to the sheet, and that's going to be set to false and at state private var amount, which will be set to 0, 0.0 for the slider inside the sheet. Now we're going to go ahead and create a Z stack. And inside the Z stack, we'll go ahead and add a button which says show sheet, followed by a closure, which is going to toggle is showing. Then right below it, we can go ahead and create half a sheet. And inside here, we have a few parameters. And the first one we need to worry about is the is presented, which of course will be bound to the is showing. Then we can go ahead and delete the other two. So go ahead and just select those and delete them. Then we can go ahead and open a closure. And inside this closure, you insert whatever you want to show. So for example, we're going to create a V stack and I'm going to go ahead and add an image with a system name of leaf. And it's going to have a font of dot system size, and it's going to be a size of 80, followed by a foreground color of dot blue and a rotation effect, which is a rotation 3D effect. And it first requires an angle, which is going to be an angle of degrees of the amount. Then for the axes, we have to specify which one we want to rotate. So the X will be set to minus one, Y will be set to minus one, and Z will be set to zero, because we don't want to make any rotations there. And for the rest, we just go ahead and select it all and just delete it. Then we can go ahead and add a slider, which will have a value of dollar sign amount in the range of 0 to 360. Finally, we'll have a text that says degrees and a backslash or the interpolation with the integer amount of the amount. And for the V stack, we want to go ahead and give this some spacing of 20 between the items. The text is also going to be of italic. And then we'll go ahead and add some padding. And I also forgot to mention that you can also choose to add an optional title here and we can call this whatever we want. We don't have to specify it, but if you do, go ahead and call it whatever you want. I'm going to just call it rotation for this example. Now we can actually even go ahead and test it. And if you show the sheet, it's going to pop up like that and it's going to take a bit less than the original one. And it's going to also have an X here, but we can actually use what's inside it. And the preview window does a very poor job on showing the animations for this package. So go ahead and run the project if you actually want to see the changes. So inside here, tap on show a sheet and you'll notice a sheet pop up out of nowhere. And you can tap here to dismiss it. But uh, we also want to customize it a bit more. And I want to show you how you can customize it so that it can resemble a normal sliding sheet. So there are a few modifiers that you can choose to include, such as the height modifier. And this is something that we really wanted in the original SwiftUI sheet. 
But here you have two options. One's to be a fixed size, which can be the amount of pixels in floats, or proportional. So if you want 20%, 30%, and so on. For this example, we'll go ahead and type in proportional. So 0.40 is going to be less than half of the screen. Otherwise, if you want fixed, go ahead and type in fixed and set something such as 500 or whatever you want it to be. But we'll stick to proportional originally, rerun the program, and you'll notice immediately that when we run it, it's going to go up 40% of the way. And you can still use it. But it also has this X over here that not everyone likes, and I found a quick way to actually get rid of that, is to change the close button caller to UI caller, because this takes a UI caller, and it's going to be set to UI caller dot white. And we also need to make sure that the foreground caller matches the close button caller. So here you can just type in dot white, and it's actually supposed to be background caller. Now we can go ahead and rerun the program, and you'll notice that when we show the sheet, there's going to be no button there, or at least the user won't be able to see it. If they accidentally grab this, then of course nothing's going to happen, but if they tap on that, it's going to close the bar, because the close button is still there, it's just invisible. And there are two more issues I want to address. So one is, what if we want some more space between the content and the sides? Well, they also decided to include something called content insets. And here you can insert edge insets, which allow you to choose the top, the leading, the bottom, and the trailing. And if you want, let's say 30 pixels from the top, just add 30 there. From leading, we can add 10. Bottom, we'll add another 30. And trailing can be 10. Now, when we rerun this app, you're going to notice some additional space between the contents and the edges. So right here, actually, it's hard to notice. So let's go ahead and change the top to maybe 100. Now you'll notice that there's a lot more space between the title here and the content down here. So that's a nice way to edit the space inside. And finally, there's one more thing that you should note is that this sheet does not blur out the entire screen. It just blows out the current view it's in, which means, as you can see right here, there's a sharp line between the toolbar or this bar over here and our view. And if we want to actually make sure that everything's getting blurred out in the background, we're going to have to go to our Z stack and type in ignore safe area. So that now when we run the sheet, it's going to blur out everything in the background because it makes sure that there's nothing safe to worry about. And now we can use it as we did before. We can go back and forth. We can choose to make this fixed, add a, let's say, amount of 600, and remove the percentage. And just like that, now we have a 600 pixel high partial sheet that we can use for whatever content we desire. But anyways, guys, with that being said, I hope this lesson helped. And as always, have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video.